When diamonds are formed under the earth, they experience intense heat and pressure. This results in inclusions, or flaws, developing within their facets. Diamonds are assigned clarity grades based on the extent of inclusions, ranging from flawless, I felt to included, I. Within the included category, there are three grades, Ioni, Ifuo, and I3. The main difference between Ioni and Idwo diamonds is that Ioni diamonds often have fewer inclusions that are less impactful to its brilliance, durability, and visual appeal. Idwo diamonds have significant inclusions that are easily noticeable, causing the diamond to appear dull with obvious imperfections scattered across the stone. Let's compare Ioni versus Idwo diamonds, including an overview of each clarity grade, how they're different, similarities, and why we recommend higher clarity grades. What are Ioni diamonds? Ioni is the ninth position on the GIA clarity scale. It sits above Idwo and below S Idwo. Ioni diamonds are designated included, but a more accurate description would be heavily included because there are only two clarity grades below them. When demologists are examining them, the inclusions are easily noticeable with, without tanks magnification. It's not referring to an exact number or type of inclusion. Instead, it indicates the flaws are widespread and affect every aspect of the diamond's performance. For example, Take a close look at this round-cut ioni diamond from James Allen. As a contrast, here's another ioni diamond. The imperfections are small, but the gemologists determine the overall effect of the inclusions is similar between both diamonds. What are Idwo diamonds? Idwo is the second lowest position on the clarity scale. It's one step above I3 and one below ioni. Idwo diamonds exhibit heavy inclusions. If the stone is more than 0.5 carats, they're immediately noticeable when viewed in a normal setting. For some clarity grades, gemologists have to scan the diamond back and forth to discover the inclusions. This isn't the case with Idwo diamonds. It could have any combination of inclusions such as needles, feathers, cavities, winning wisps. One characteristic that's often true of Idwo diamonds is blemishes are clustered together. While a single inclusion might hide from the naked eye, they become more noticeable when several are positioned in the same area. The inclusions are also often large. What are the differences between Ioni and Idwo diamonds? If you're comparing Ioni versus Idwo diamonds, you should know how the inclusions affect each aspect of the diamond's performance. Clarity grades go beyond explaining the distinctions in visible appearance. Here are the details on four differences between Ioni and Idwo diamonds. One, Ioni diamonds often have fewer inclusions. Although diamond clarity isn't an indicator of an exact number of inclusions, Ioni diamonds often have fewer inclusions than ones that earn an Idwo grade. That's because if all else is equal, a higher number of inclusions is more detrimental to its quality. 2. Idwo diamonds exhibit low brilliance. Inclusions don't only result in noticeable flaws, it also impacts brilliance. Idwo diamonds exhibit lower brilliance compared to Ioni clarity because inclusions distort the path through which light enters and exits facets. In a flawless diamond with a quality cut, can enter the diamond bounce around inside, and return to the viewer. When light encounters an inclusion, it doesn't follow this ideal path. This can result in a dull diamond. 3. Ioni diamonds sell for a higher price. Diamonds that earn higher clarity grades are more expensive because buyers are willing to pay a premium for fewer inclusions. Flawless diamonds are significantly more expensive than even ones graded VVS. VS, or S, the same idea is true when you compare diamonds within the same clarity category, like Ioni and Itwo. As an example, this one carat Idwo diamond has a very good cut and J color gray. 4. Idwo diamonds are rarely used in jewelry. It's rare to find Idwo diamonds used in pieces of jewelry because of their heavy inclusions. In fact, you'll almost never see them as the main gem in a diamond ring. If they're placed on a ring, it's often as a side stone or pave. In these cases, the diamonds are so small that the inclusions aren't visible. The goal isn't for them to sparkle or steal attention, but to instead complement the main diamond. Should you buy an Ioni or Itwo diamond? We recommend choosing a diamond with a higher clarity grade than Ioni or Itwo. It's difficult to find one close to one carat that doesn't show inclusions. When it comes to the center diamond in your ring, you want to avoid these issues. Instead, start with S Itwo and S Ioni diamonds and work your way to V S2 and B Sung. If you choose a diamond greater than two carats, you may have to continue up the clarity scale. But if there are paved diamonds around the main one or on the shank, it may appear clean with Ioni or Idwo diamonds. View the piece in person or through high resolution photos before you commit. By understanding how inclusions affect Ioni and Idwo diamonds, 
and why you should choose one with a higher clarity. You will discover the right diamond for your ring. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.